Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. Yes, I got a haircut. Let's just get that out of the way right off the bat. I just got back from a brand new hairdresser. My other one that I've had for years moved away. And I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this new cut. Um, she cut a lot off. Oh my gosh. I don't know when I ever had my hair this short before. Thankfully, my hair grows fast. Let me know what you guys think of it. Anyway, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. Uh, my store has finally got all their fall stuff out. I don't know why they have been so late to the game, but they finally got it all out, and I found some things that I've been waiting for very patiently, so I can't wait to share with you what I got. So I'll start with the food-related items. It was bread day, so I grabbed myself a loaf of Dempster's Double Flax 100% Whole Grain Bread. Nice loaf of bread, I love this stuff. And I also picked up a Dempster's uh, package of English muffins. These are the extra crispy. I love the extra crispy. My favorite with some peanut butter and jam for sure. So a definite repeat buy with this next item. I grabbed a couple more pizza crusts. I was getting dangerously low. <laughs> These are my absolute all time favorite thing to get at Dollar Tree. And I'm really sorry, I just, I never seem to get around to show you guys how I make my pizzas using these. I really am going to try to do that very soon. They are amazing. If you see them, grab them, you won't be sorry. And they're about $5 in the grocery store. So what a great deal for a buck 25. So one of my local grocery stores had an amazing deal on frozen ribs the other day and I stocked up and we have really been enjoying them. Uh, so I grabbed one of these. It's just a barbecue craft chicken and rib. This is actually really good. My favorite is actually just the regular craft uh, barbecue sauce, but this is really good too. You might recall that I had picked a couple of these up on my last haul. Um, I wanted my boyfriend to try them out just to see how they were. He has a Keurig coffee machine at his office and he said they weren't bad. So I just grabbed a couple more of those for, again, for $1.25, which is what we pay here in Canada. Can't really go wrong. They had just recently restocked some of my favorite goodies here. These are from Real Earth. Um, my Probably my all-time favorite is the chocolate covered coffee beans. They didn't have any of those, but they had the cranberry. The milk chocolate covered peanuts. These ones are really tasty. And my favorite, second <laughs> favorite, are the chocolate covered almonds. Oh my gosh. Again, if you see these in your Canadian stores, because this is a Canadian product, I don't think that you would probably be able to find these in the US, but I could be wrong. Um, these are really, really good. And they're decent sized bags. This one here is 85 grams. So you get actually quite a bit of product in there. I've seen these bottles at my Dollar Tree many times in the past, but I've never had a reason to purchase one until now. Uh, I just recently stumbled across a really awesome recipe on Pinterest. Uh, it shows you how to make your own pumpkin spice latte syrup. So I'm gonna give that a try, and I think this will be a perfect container to put it in. So I picked this up, not because I have cockroaches in my home, but I do have spiders in our basement here. And uh, I have bought something similar to these before. They were specifically for spiders, but it says right on here that they're pre-baited traps for roaches, water bugs, and other crawling insects. So I don't see why these wouldn't work for spiders as well. These things are quite expensive at the hardware store. So I'm gonna give this a try. There's two of them in here and we'll see if I can catch the spiders in there. <laughs> I picked up this two pack of women's tube socks in the black because I want to make myself some Halloween gnomes. Um, so if that turns out, I'll make sure I'll share that with you as well. So now I'm gonna get into some of the seasonal items. I guess I'll start with the fall kind of stuff here first. When I first walked into my store, they have this huge kind of display rack and all their fall stuff was on there. They had a bunch of plates and mugs and all kinds of stuff. And I was so excited to finally find these adorable little flower sack towels. So this is the pumpkin pie one. So I got that one. And then I also got the one that has the recipe for the pumpkin pie. I thought that was so cute. That was gonna look great uh, on my stove in my kitchen for the, the fall season. And then to go along with that, I thought these would also look awesome in my kitchen. How cute are these little oven mitts? Love the pattern on here. And I was kind of in need of a new set of oven mitts anyway. My other ones were getting kind of yucky looking. So I'm gonna throw those out and out with the old and with the new. So this next item isn't a new item to me. I have purchased these, oh my gosh, many of these. I love these. This is another one of my favorite things to get at Dollar Tree, these little uh, fairy lights. But when we first started getting these oh, a couple of years ago, they started only having 10 in a package. Then they went up to 12. Well, look at what I found yesterday. 
There are now 16 little lights in each of these packages. So I grabbed five more of these because I know I'll be definitely using these for, you know, for fall, Halloween, and definitely for Christmas as well for projects. In with all the crafting supplies, I came across these adorable little burlap ribbons, they're calling them. So there is 3.3 uh, feet on each one of these. I think these will be great little additions to a wreath that I hopefully am going to be making here very soon. Speaking of additions to wreaths, I picked up another package of these, these white ones. Uh, pumpkins go really, really fast. And like I said, they had just put out their display of all their new fall stuff. So I grabbed another package of those because I know they won't last long. I'm also hoping to get to make a deco mesh wreath. I've been wanting to do that for the last two years. I have a huge supply of deco mesh, but I needed some more ribbon. And so I came across these and I thought these would be a great little addition to a fall or Halloween uh, wreath. So I picked those up. So I have a newfound love of decorating tiered trays for the different holidays and occasions. I don't, I'm kind of late getting onto that bandwagon, I don't know. But anyway, I'm on it and I'm always looking now for different little tchotchkes that I can use to put on those little tiered trays. And I just couldn't pass these little guys up. I thought they were so cute. So you can put little uh, tea lights in there and yeah, I thought they were adorable. So these next few items I've seen many haulers from the States hauling for the last few weeks and I thought you know these they're so cute I bet you they're not going to come to Canada so I was very happy to stumble across these and so I picked this one up here the happy Halloween I'm still looking for the fall related ones I haven't seen those yet but I'm hopeful because there were still lots of boxes that needed to be unpacked at my store so hopefully the fall ones are in there but I picked that one up and then I found these. Now these are something that I really didn't think would ever come to our Canadian stores. Uh, I have never seen these in any of the ones I've ever been to before, these little wooden little signs. These are gonna be perfect for the little tiered trays or even decorating up your coffee bar or whatever. I just thought this one was special, it was so cute. Beware the Wicked Witch and her little monsters live here. <laughs> and then I got this one, eat, drink and be scary. That'd be cute in the kitchen. And then this one's really super cute as well. Love that one. It's just nice, plain and simple, but very cute. So the last two items I also found in along with all their Halloween goodies. And I was so excited. Look at these awesome socks. Oh my goodness. So I got this pair. I love all the stripes here. This is going to make great hats for gnomes. Can't wait to try that out. And then this last pair was my absolute favorite. Oh my gosh, look at this. Like Dollar Tree, you definitely outdid yourself with these ones. They had a whole display of all different kinds of sock, Halloween socks. Some were like ankle socks, and but a lot of them were these nice long ones. So um, yeah, I'm excited to do something crafty related with these as well. So that's everything that I have to share with you from uh, my Dollar Tree trip yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.